Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Project Too Much. So, last time I worked on the upper wall, and today I'm going to be wo working on the lower wall I mentioned. So, I'm only going to build a little bit, and then I'm trying to get my uh, second channel set up for live streaming. But there's some weird issue with YouTube right now where I can't sign in, and every time I try to sign in, it'll just... Uh, push me back to the main YouTube page. Anyways, so uh, today I, I'm i building this lower section, and this lower section is a really cool design of wall I designed, or created, not designed. Um, anyways, so it's nice because unlike the other one, it's not as zigzaggy except right here in this little corner. But uh, there's this big, long, straight section, and I'm thinking I'm just going to build that much in the video today. And then if I can get my uh, second channel working, I will um, start live streaming because I've got all the stuff set up. I just need to log in. So this design I came up with while I was playing around in creative mode on my testing world. And I just thought it looked really nice for a uh, an outer wall. Like, not as much protection, but more just about the uh, decoration of it. I don't know, just a uh, really cool design in my opinion. So anyway, let's get on with building. So I'm going to start off by putting the base of all the pillars that I want on the outside. And it's really, I like having a little base for my pillars just because it looks more realistic and it kind of would break up bigger sections like that. Although right here it kind of looks bad because that dirt block was hiding it from this angle. So now it looks a little better. Okay. Anyways. So then in the bottom down here I'm putting some spruce wood stairs. Just ca oops. <laughs> just kind of brings the thing together. Makes it look a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna get some dirt out because I don't want anything spawning inside the wall. So I'm going to fill in the blank space inside the wall with dirt. Ah, there we go. One of my main problems with this design is just the sheer amount of logs it takes. Because I had eight logs or eight logs, eight stacks of logs when I started building this little section here and it took me more than a stack of logs just for that corner right there. Just that. <sighs> so much. Well, I guess this is project too much. Anyways. Oh, and speaking of which, I have not been doing the uh, filling up a double chest every episode, so I think... I'm going to do that this episode. I wonder which one I should fill up. Hmm. I'll have to think about that while I'm building this thing. Because I have actually quite a few that are ready. I just haven't transferred them down into my uh, storage area yet. Oh, shoot. So I'm going to put little bases of these pillars here. But I ran out, actually. So I need to go create some more. Let's see, there it is. Okay. And so for the first time, like, ever, I'm actually playing with uh, sound because I'm using my headset. And it's a wireless one, so it doesn't interfere with my recording at all. Hopefully. <laughs> Anyways. Back to business. So then I'm just going to bring this up until it's the same height as the other section. Oh, and also I was thinking of doing, like, maybe in this video or maybe like a separate little video showing where I started with castles and where I am now. It's so, like where I started as in uh, building just floating castles up in the sky out of uh, stone bricks and making them solid, like squares. And now where it's, it actually has, like, different parts of it, and, yeah. Anyway, I'll probably do that in another episode, 
just kind of a little creative thing where I go in, I build a couple sections of these walls, these type of walls, and then I do the old style that I used to do. And then we compare. Almost done with the logs, and then we get into the more interesting part. Okay. So also for the tops of these pillars, I was thinking I might want to make them out of um, chiseled stone bricks. I don't know yet, though. I'll have to decide soon. Because I didn't over there. And so it's... But I'm thinking I might want to go back through and do it over there as well. Hmm. Let's see. So in the middle, I'm just going to do stone bricks all the way across. Right, all the way over to there. And I'm going to do wood along there. Stone brick stairs in here. Oh, and uh, you might have noticed this, but right over here, I added a little water stream coming out of the wall, so it looks sort of like it, um, I don't know, it just looks cool, and it kind of also breaks up this big solid chunk of wall here, and then over here, inside the bottom of the wall, I actually put some mossy cobblestone, you can't really see it that well, but it just sort of adds to the whole effect, and then I put some more in there as well. So sorry if there's a lot of background noise. I am in the basement, so anything that is happening upstairs sounds really weird down here, and I think someone is actually taking a shower right now. Okay. Back to building. Oh, I also need to put um, the spruce wood stairs down at the bottom. Actually, first, I think I'm going to put stairs on top of all of these pillars and then get out my stone slabs, slap those on there. And this wall it does not have any light yet, but I'm thinking I might want to go on top of like every other one of these wood pillars on this side and double up like that and then put a torch on top. Or I might find some other way of lighting, but I have to be really careful not to use fire because that would burn down the whole wall, and that would be rather sad. Okay. Oh, and I messed it up. Okay, there we go. Now this section of wall is pretty much complete. So this is the view from the inside. I might want to re remove that tree um, and then go to the outside for the outside view, and that would be too close. So I'm going to swim over here and give you guys one last view of this little section of wall here. So hopefully you j guys enjoyed this so far. I will come back once I probably make it wrap around there, which I don't know how exactly I'm going to do, because when you make it go around corners, it really doesn't look that good. Um, so I might either have to make it like go up and over and then back down and kind of make it like a, uh, how would you describe that shape? Sort of like a Z, except instead of the middle being at a slant, it would be like straight down, like basically half of a swastika. <laughs> Sorry, I made that reference, but that's the only thing I can think of. Um, anyways. So, I'm probably going to make that all the way over to here. And I might want to make it go all the way around just because right here... Yeah, I'm probably going to want to make it go all the way... Or maybe... Maybe what I could do is I could make it come straight across here. And then build a little bit more up and over on top of this. Or no, don't build on top of this, and then close it off over here as well with like a, a wall or something and make it sort of like um, a moat, I guess you could say. 
well, that's what it would be. I mean, it's a castle. It has to have a moat somewhere. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And I really do want to do live streaming and try and get it working. If I do, I think the name of the channel is Minimal Six Live, and I'll make sure to put that somewhere <laughs> to let you guys know that I'm doing that. But uh, yeah, how am I gonna do that? Oh well. By the time I post this video, I've probably already done it anyways, because I want to do like a final showcase for this video. So I guess I will explain that in the second half of this video. Uh, see you all when I finish those, or at least finish something. Anyways, see you then. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why am I in a creative world? Hmm. So... I will explain. So this is my testing world where I basically build things, try different things out, count up how much of every item I'm going to need for certain projects, like uh, my iron farm here, and then once I count it up, I put how much of each thing I need, and then I place down all these lamps, flick the levers on when I get them. So anyways, you're probably wondering. How does this affect the video I'm currently working on, which is the lower castle wall? And I will fly down to that. So you may be able to notice, or not notice, um, recognize some of these things. Like this is the inside of my, uh, my skeleton grinder. And so doing that double piston extender with the, the floor covering it up afterwards took me a long, long time and a lot of effort to get because uh, I was worried it was going to interfere with the hopper line, but I managed to get it working. Anyways, okay, I need to stay on task here. And then also here is my little counter, and this is where I designed that. So I made it so that it lights 10 straight up, and then it goes 100, 1,000, 10,000. Oh yeah, you guys haven't seen it light up past 10, so this is the same exact design I used in my world, and so this is what it's going to look like eventually, except I can't back up farther because I built it at the edge of the world. Yay, 10,000. And if I ever mess up the button, or not mess up the button, if I ever accidentally press it twice, all I have to do is go down to the end and it'll reset it all. Okay, anyways, back to where we're going. Uh, all the way down here, I have built some examples of castles. So this is the type of castle that I'm building now and I'm planning on using in the future with like a really nice fancy wall with a couple different variations like the straight variation and then the, uh, the kind of diagonal variation and then the outer wall which isn't as um, not safe but it doesn't look like it would defend as well but it just makes a really nice barrier to Back when I started playing Minecraft, I would always build this type of perfectly square stone castle floating up in the sky. So I like, see I haven't connecting it, connected it, but usually I would build it at least 30 blocks up in the air. <laughs> Anyways, and then I also built some light sources down here, and this is the light source that I used over in one of the parts of my castle in my Project Too Much world. And then this is the type of lighting I used to use for everything. And then also, I'm thinking of incorp trying to incorporate some of these different fire designs. And some of them, they look really nice, but they're going to be more expensive than other ones. But, ah, just fire! <laughs> so this is the only one where you can actually see the nether rack. And that is because... I tend to think netherrack doesn't look that good, but I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like if I were to try and show it. But anyways, I've got a bunch of different designs, and I'm thinking of using some of these later on in my Project Too Much world. Um, maybe even in this video. Anyways, just wanted to show you guys where I was and where I am now. Because, I mean, the castle I'm building now, in my opinion, looks really nice. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this part, and I will get back to the project too much, 
and I'm thinking I'm going to show you guys another one of my um, chests being filled and then after that I will get back to the castle wall itself. Okay, so I am here in my base to do another chest of items. And this time it's cobblestone. So, boom, there we go. One full double chest of cobblestone in my storage. So I have now completed cobblestone and sticks. Two out of 400 and something. <laughs> I actually lost track a long time ago of uh, how many items I need but it's just so much. I don't even have enough item frames for all of them. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I will get back to you guys once I get over to my castle. Okay, so as you can tell, I am right by my wall that I made. So when I was recording the part I was building, I was working way over here then after I finished, I was trying to do live streaming with my second account, which is Minimal 6 Live, and I realized none of you guys knew that before I started trying to live stream, but that's okay because the live stream basically ended up failing. Uh, for whatever reason, there was no microphone sound, and, well, let's just say the quality was less than normal. I mean, like, I had to stream in 480p, and it still had some major issues. So I will be deleting that video and hopefully trying to do it again with another project because there's a lot more work that is going to be going into this castle. So, as you may be wondering, why is there water coming out of my wall? So, <laughs> if you watched the live stream, if you happened to know the channel before I told you guys, um, it was because back here, on the far side of this wall, I built like a little reservoir. And um, so it's basically kind of like a moat. It's like continuation of that moat. And so water basically goes around the whole thing. So anyways, back over here, um, we got the tree randomly in the water because it would naturally spawn there and I decided to leave it. But over here, uh, there happens to be just this little dirt wall holding all the water in place. And that is because I was planning on building that same type of wall over here. Come on, over here. Except I decided I'm going to want to leave that open for a few different options. And so one of them is that I build all the ships and stuff, and then I use this area as... Um, sort of like just a natural little waterfalls down to make it just another water stream flowing in. Or I just continue the wall, build it maybe right here, and then um, maybe build like a dry dock or something here. Not that they'd probably have that in castle times. Um, so scratch that. Uh, just, ah, let's see, how do I wanna say this? Um, <laughs> anyways, for a later video. And then also, if I were to do that, I don't know if I would be putting the wall on top of there. Also because it's just kind of a weird shape and I want to have a way down to the uh, ships. Anyways, back over to what I am actually showcasing in this video, or this part of the video, is the wall itself. So on the back side of this wall, I decided to do stone bricks just to look like it would... Uh, you know, hold more water instead of just let it leak through the logs. And then at the very end of this uh, wall, instead of making it wrap up around there and come back down the other side and start to take up room from my uh, bunker, my fallout bunker over here, because I wanted to build like a mansion on top and then have like a secret way down through the mansion. But anyway, later video as I... Uh, keep saying. So I have plenty of material for tons of videos. I just need to know that you guys want to watch more of them. So anyway, I got like a little tower here so that you can defend the end of the wall. And then along the top of the wall, I got really cool views of my house and of the upper castle part. So I'm really bad at navigating these little corners, so I just keep popping up and that's okay though. 
So anyway, it's just giving you guys a little view from the top of the wall. And then I'm thinking I'm going to go up there and give you guys another little view looking down. And then also for this wall, or this area inside between the walls, I'm thinking of putting like a little stable here. And then maybe making like a gate through here with a little bridge over to the other side. I don't know though. And then doing something here just to kind of fill in this bland little corner area because it looks pretty weird. But it still looks nice because I put a lot of time into it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would better hope it looks nice. So anyway, it goes up to the end of the wall here where it joins with this little tower. And also one thing that I forgot to mention is back over this way. Come on, keep going, keep going. A long ways back here. Um, <laughs> about where I started in my actual live stream. Right over here, there's this little water thing that was natural. So I decided to build like a little gate. And then I'm thinking of probably removing that tree and then having the water flow down into there. And then putting actual like iron bars or something over it. I don't know yet. I might want to make like sort of like a secret entrance, I guess you could say. Um, maybe make something where it's got like a redstone torch key like right there and then it'll pull up one of the iron bars there and then you have to like throw an ender pearl through or something. I don't know yet. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the view from under the wall and on the diagonal parts, I didn't really know what to do so I just kind of Threw that on there. Hopefully it looks good. Make sure to tell me what you guys think. So, anyways, back over to this side for one final little ground level view. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what I've done for the past few days because I started filming this on Wednesday and it is now Sunday. I know I usually don't say the days in my videos because it's kind of embarrassing that it's like it's taken me more than half a week to start and finish and then it'll probably be till Monday before I get this video edited and uploaded. Or maybe I'll do it tonight because I just kind of want to get it done and get another video out because I haven't posted in a while. And the more videos I post, the better it is for me. But I haven't been posting that regularly or that many and not even the highest quality recently, like um, lengthwise anyways. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to leave a comment, tell me what you guys want to see. I know I did get a comment a little while ago for redstone tutorials. And don't worry, I have not forgotten you. I just have never done any tutorials before. So I want to try and make something good. So anyways, see you all next time. Bye!